Maybe you've heard of this new phenomenon in car racing called Curse, a system that makes cars drive faster and consume less fuel. But what exactly is Curse and how does it work? CURSE stands for Kinetic Energy Recovery System, and before we take a look at how it works, let's see what it does. Let's say we've got a racing car driving on a track, and there is a corner up ahead so the car needs to slow down. Therefore, the driver of the car starts braking. The brakes of the car create friction. They turn the kinetic energy of the car into heat. That way the car slows down and the brakes heat up. But that's a waste of energy, since the heat of the brakes just flows away. Now, CURSE is a system that attempts to capture the energy that's normally wasted during braking and reuse it to make the car go faster. Okay, so now that we know what CURSE does, let's take a look at how it actually works. There are many different types of CURSE, and I'm going to explain the four most common types. The first type is the mechanical flywheel system. Here's a schematic drawing. A flywheel is positioned right next to one of the axles. Also, there is a clutch between the flywheel and the axle. Now, normally, when the car is driving, the flywheel isn't connected to the axle, since it would otherwise slow down the car. When the driver of the car starts braking, however, the flywheel does connect to the axle since this way it helps the conventional brakes slowing down the car. The flywheel now starts rotating at a very high speed. After the flywheel has started spinning, it disconnects from the axle again. Then, when the car needs to accelerate again at some point, maybe the driver wants to overtake someone, the spinning flywheel can be reconnected to the axle to give the car an extra boost. The second type is a bit more complex. In this system, there's a generator next to an axle. When the driver starts braking, the generator connects to the front axle and starts slowing down the car, helping the traditional brakes. The generator starts rotating and generates electricity. This electricity then goes to an electric motor which spins up another flywheel. When the car stops braking, the generator disconnects from the axle and the spinning flywheel disconnects from the electric motor. Then, if the car needs some more speed, the spinning flywheel reconnects to the motor and it then makes the motor spin. Since an electric motor is technically the same as a generator, it starts generating electricity when the wheel makes it spin. That electricity then goes to the generator, which now acts as a motor. The generator is then connected to the axle, and it drives the wheels, giving the car an extra boost. And all of this happens in less than a second. The two other most common types of curse replace the second motor and flywheel with a battery or a supercapacitor to store the energy. The system that uses the battery seems to be the most efficient type of curse so far. So, there you go. Now you know what curse is and how it works. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.